Now, it's been a year since the Taliban returned to power in Afghanistan. With their return, women were banned from playing any sport, putting female athletes in danger. But with the help of a former world champion cyclist, five young women from the national cycling team managed to escape to a town in northern Italy. Some of them are now hoping to become the first cyclists to represent Afghanistan at the Olympics. The BBC visited them to find out how they are settling into their new lives. The first time I rode a bike, it felt amazing. I felt like a bird. I felt like I could fly. Training in the foothills of the Dolomites. It is a cyclist dream. But for sisters Yildiz and Fariba, it has come at a great cost. When the Taliban returned to power, I thought my dream was over. I never thought I would be a refugee. I never imagined I would have to leave my country. But along with three teammates, they have navigated a new home, new country Antonio. and a new language. Despite a warm welcome, it's not been easy. When I remember my family, I feel very sad. It is very, very difficult to be away from your mom and your family. They wouldn't be here without former world champion cyclist Alessandra Capelotto. Her charity helps female cyclists from developing countries. They asked for help. Their lives were in danger, so it's the natural thing to do to help them. The simple act of cycling is banned for women in Afghanistan. But these girls are determined to continue the dream they started back home here in the Italian hills. They're embracing their new lives in this rural town. One of the locals is their coach, Maurizio. They affectionately call him the Capitano. We never had a coach in Afghanistan. When I arrived, I felt I had a lot to learn. I needed to learn the basic techniques. It was a shock. It was like I didn't know anything about cycling. They still have mountains to climb, but these sisters want to make history as the first cyclists to ever represent their country at the Olympics. I want to go to the Olympics. I want to win. I want to show the world what Afghan women can achieve. We want to be noticed. I don't think all of them can become champions, but I believe some of them can do it. Cycling is a sport where willpower, the desire to work hard and passion count for a lot. And these girls definitely have all three. They're miles away from home, but these girls are hoping this place can give them the opportunities that Afghanistan never could. Feroz Rahimi, BBC News.